Welcome to Messenger's Make It Personal 2 application. In this video, we will show you how to log in, fill in location and settings, create new users. We are going to focus on the administration functions and the menu button, which enables you to navigate through Make It Personal 2. We will begin with logging in with your Messenger credentials. If you do not have these, please call Messenger to get these. When you log in, you will be on the Fast Track screen, our main menu. In the top right corner of the screen, click on the menu button. Navigate down to the location and info settings. There are three basic tabs, locations, custom fields, and users. On the locations tab, set up your location information. If you have more than one location, add it here. Some of your location information will be, fields will be on some of the templates and others will be um, available to you on the design screen so you can add them to your stationary items. Fill in this information and save. You also have the ability to include a logo to be used on your stationary items or a location image. These can be added and saved in custom templates. Make sure that you click save. Do this for each location. Messenger assigns initial credentials for the administrator of the funeral home. The admin then has the ability to create additional users within the organization. This allows more than one person to access all of your designs, templates, cases, and more. Each user needs to have access to a valid email. Create a username and a password for each user. The password must have at least seven characters, including a symbol, and then save. Be sure to test each password and, and, and a username combination before giving them out. Custom fields are for the administrator to set up and to be used in case information. This can be for any information that is desired to be included in any type of stationery that's created within Make It Personal. Here in the location, info, and settings, <clears throat> is where you define the name or question the field is asking. In the case information is where you fill in the answer or record the information to be included. Click Save when you are finished. That concludes managing your um, location info and settings. Do make sure that you save any changes before you leave this area. Back to the menu button up here in the right hand corner and we're going to go to managing case information. This is going to look a little bit different but act very very similar to what it did in Make It Personal 1. You'll notice the orange button right here at the very very top. This is where you go to manually start a case. Or you can find a case by typing any part of the name here in the search field. You can sort your cases by location, or you can show, sort them by active or inactive. You can also sort your cases by clicking at the top of any of these lists. Date last modified, click twice, will bring the most recent cases to the top. To open a case, you can click on the edit pencil, or you can double click on the name. Once you're inside a case is the only time that you can absolutely delete a case. This makes sure that there is no way that you can accidentally mistakenly d delete a case. Fill out all your case information that is needed. Copy and paste your obituary. You'll notice that the only formatting you can do for your obituary is now inside the stationery. Basic information has only changed a little bit. We now have the ability for you to add a nickname. After you add your nickname here, and you may include quotation marks around this, you do have the ability to adjust this where it shows when you're on your stationary documents. There's going to be an edit pencil on the full name field, and you can decide from there where you want the nickname to fall in the full name space, whether you want it to fall after the first name, 
after the middle name or before the first name. Once you've saved this information, saving case here, then you go to the Advanced tab. On the Advanced tab, the family members has not changed at all. One function has been um, simplified when you go to add grandchildren or any other simple statements here in the name field and you click other here um, you no longer have to put a space or any other um, elements under relation and then you just click um, add family member and it will add it that makes things very simple for you moving on to the service information this information has expanded to include all various types of services. We have added visitation information as well as updating the participants section. Each visitation should be added as, a, as its own separate visitation. So if you're running a visitation from 2 to 4, that should be one visitation. And then if you're picking it up again from 6 to 8, that should be another visitation. Case images has also been expanded or improved. Um, you can add images now up to two megs. You do not have to resize them. This will improve image handling. And because Silverlight is no longer an issue and you can use any browser with Make It Personal 2, this should make things go much faster. Make sure that when you're done uploading your images, and I do recommend that you still only load 10 to 15 at a time and then save and then go back and load 10 to 15 more and then save um, makes it much easier to keep track of the images that you've loaded and to make sure that they've all saved. Um, make sure that you do save them to the case before moving on. So at this point you can go to case designs. This provides a place to locate all saved templates for each family and to begin a new design from. So you can go here even if there are no saved uh, templates or no saved stationery here that you've completed and you can start here and create a new design or you can open a current design and edit this. We're going to go back up to your menu button and we're going to look at the other options that are available here. You can also click on help and log out. You can create a new design from here no matter where you are in the program application. You can also view your previously ordered photo books. The help page takes you out to another section of Make It Personal where you can see this video tutorial and any other video tutorials that we have available for you. You can also see our hours of support and our email support where you can reach us almost at any time. We hope this um, information was helpful for you and if you have a uh, need for additional information about Make It Personal 1 or 2 or any of Messenger's other applications and how they can best serve you, Please feel free to browse our other training videos here or call us or email us at any time. Thank you.